how do I find the key of a song quickly? Because I still take me like two to three minutes when a singer changes the pitch. And he says, changing the pitch, it takes me time to know how to, do I combine chords with the melody? So finding the key of a song, you need to get comfortable listening for cadences. Cadences are the start of the song, the end of a song, or I should say the start of a phrase, the end of a phrase. So that's usually the start of a chorus, end of a chorus, start of a verse, end of a verse, start of a bridge. Anywhere there's a start and sort of conclusion, those are cadential spots. That's when the singer is on the one, most likely. And if you can listen for those spots, it helps, it narrow things down. Now, sometimes cadences happen in the middle of a song, right? So it's not just at the end. So you're basically listening for when the song gets to the one. You want to be able to train, and this is something you can practice right here on YouTube. Just pull up random songs and try to hear the cadence. Now, an example of a cadence would be, um, let's take Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. That's a cadence. I'm on the one. So you want to listen to it, you come to that part. Sound, what is a note? So it's on the five. So sound, you need to build a chord around that. Because the only chord you can build around G is either a C major, a sound, or a five. Sound. And if you build on a five, you're going to hear that. Wait, that doesn't sound close enough. So maybe it's the C. That saved. Oh. That's another cadence, and they're on the five. So cadences are happening at the end of phrases. That's what we call a phrase, almost like a, a musical sentence, basically. Wherever a sentence would end with a period, most time that coincides also with a phrase. So when you're trying to find a key, you're listening for these spots, and you're figuring out what note the singer is on at that point, and you build a chord around that. And you're gonna find that 90% of the time, 95% of the time, you nailed it right out the gate with that. Now, like I said, this is a skill you can work on. Pull up random songs on YouTube every day and just try to find a key till you get better at hearing that key center. And as you get better, you'll find that you won't even have to wait for a cadence to be able to find a key. You're gonna be able to hear that key center and you can just pick it out on the keyboard.